Good day. Welcome. This is your Daily Med with Lady V. Today we would look at brutal persecution as the church, the newly founded church, the newly established church became under great persecution because of the preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the one who died, the one who was buried, and the one who rose again. Today we will look at Acts chapter 57, um, Acts chapter 7, verse 57 to the end, and the first verse of Acts chapter 8. It says, at this uh, they covered their ears, and yelling at the top of their voices, they all rushed at him, dragged him out of the city, and began to stone him. Meanwhile, the witnesses laid their coats at the feet of a young man named Saul. While they were stoning him, Stephen prayed, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he fell on his knees and cried out, Lord, do not hold their sins against them. And he has said this, he fell asleep. Chapter 8 and verse 1 of Acts says, And Saul approved of their killing him. So here we are being introduced to one name, Saul, who himself is a great persecutor of the church. Those who have now become Christians because of the preaching, and that church was called The Way. And of course, the brethren or the believers were called the followers so here is Saul as we see him on the scene first thing we saw him doing keeping the clothes of those that were witness to the stoning of Stephen who had become the first Christian martyr from this movement or from what happened at the day of Pentecost when the Holy Spirit came upon the believers and here in chapter 8 of Acts the Bible is saying that Saul agreed he approved of them killing Stephen what do we know about Paul as we Saul as we have been introduced to him today we realize that he himself was a brutal persecutor we realize also that he was very ambitious and that ambition caused him to want to exterminate Christianity from the earth. Saul of Tarsus, as we call him, and we see him in biblical record, what he does. He himself was a witness in Acts 7 verse 58 in Acts 8 and verse 1. He is a persecutor of Christians and will further go on to say that. See that in Acts 9, 1 through 19. He was relentless and he thought sincerely he was doing Jehovah's will. And we can see that in Acts 23, verse 1, Acts 26, and verse 9. He pursued the saints or the believer into foreign cities. In Acts 26, and verse 11, he beat, he imprisoned, he had them put to death. In Acts 22, and verse 19, he himself would later write that the measure of this persecution to the church of God that he made havoc 
in the lives of these people. And he tells us that in Galatians 1 and verse 13. Galatians 1 and verse 13. For you have learned of my previous way of life in Judaism. How intensely I persecuted the church of God and tried to destroy it. He says, I was advancing in Judaism beyond many of my own age among my people and was extremely zealous for the traditions of my father but when god who set me apart from my mother's womb called me by his grace was pleased to reveal his son to me so that i might preach him among the gentiles my immediate response was not to consult with human beans so we see here that this man had a zeal to wipe out christianity from the face of the earth but we will see later on how god called him and what he had become no more a persecutor but a preacher of the word of god when we look in the book of Acts, we will also see that there are three different accounts that are there. Luke the historian wrote this account in Acts 9 verse 1 through 19. So this is a sketch of Paul as we are trying to say today and we will continue to talk about his conversion at a later time. But in the book of Acts, which is the second account in Acts 22, verse 6 through 21, Paul tries to defend his charge. He tries to, to show, listen, I was an opponent of Christianity, but now I am a propondent of Christianity. He says, I want you to know the connection between my Jewish background and what is taking place now presently. What is my religious standard? He wanted his Israelite brethren to realize that there was no conflict between Judaism and Christianity. Rather, that Judaism was in Ended to prepare the way for Christianity. And in Galatians chapter 3 verse 23 through 25, he declares that. So in Galatians chapter 3 verse 23, what did Paul say? He says, before the coming of this faith, we were held in custody under the law locked up until the faith that was to come would be revealed so the law was our guardian until christ came that we might be justified by faith now that this faith has come we are no longer under a guardian paul in his third defense in Acts chapter, sorry, Saul, as he was called, in his defense in Acts 26, verse 12 through 18. He was showing what is the aim of this defense that he had to put up. He had to show, or he had to testify, or he had to argue that Christianity was never intended to be a political rival he was not fighting or preaching christ because he was a rival to rome and paul had to let these leaders know festus and agrippa he want to tell them listen jesus christ and him crucified 
it is true it is the way this is what i am preaching i met the man christ jesus because he would have been telling them about his conversion and once he got converted he was not afraid to defend the gospel of jesus christ are we today afraid to defend the truth of the word of god are we really seriously preaching the good news of the gospel of jesus christ even under persecution we see from the early church that the believers the followers were persecuted persecuted and scattered all over the place let us remember that persecution is a part of the believers way of life as long as we are serious ready to defend the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ. God bless you as we continue to preach and to defend the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you again for watching.